Hi, we're here today at the Formation Engineering World Headquarters to go through the setup of a Formation P2 proportional made it to a four inch valve. The P2 actuator, actually all our actuators are shift in the closed position or the zero position. First thing to do is to make sure you have the right coupling pieces. In this case, we have a star coupler that fits into here that subsequently fits and mates to the valve. The first thing, so when mating to the valve, remember that the actuator is set in the closed position, but this valve is now in the open position. So we want to move the valve to very close to the closed position, or what we think is to be the closed position. Take the actuator, bring it up, mount to the star drive. Okay, so we got the valve mounted up, I'm tightening it down, in this case with a six millimeter hex. In order to do the installation, there's a simple set of uh, tools needed. In this case, for a P2, P3, is a 17 millimeter wrench, small flathead screwdriver, two and a half millimeter hex, and a five millimeter hex. Five millimeter hex is used to take off the cover bolts. Take the cover off straight up. The bolts are captured, so if you turn it upside down, you don't see the bolts will not uh, fall out. And also, on the interior of all, the car, all our enclosures is the wiring diagram. So this will take the wiring diagram, very important about the wiring diagram to look and see what the wiring diagram and where the wires are supposed to go. So when you first take the top off, there is a card, calibration card, that you can remove. In it, it says, do not make any adjustments on the actuator unless you read the IOM. Very, very important also. Major components on the interior are the switch card with the two end of travel switches, two auxiliary switches, heater, incoming connections. This is connected uh, to the proportional card over here that runs the proportional uh, controller. Power comes into one side, control signals all come into another side. In this case, we're mounting the actuator to an open valve or not attached valve or unattached valve. When putting it in line where you cannot see if the valve is closed or not, it's very important to start with a closed valve so the alignment of the actuator to the valve is correct. It's easy to be 45 degrees off, so it's very, again, very important to make sure that the valve is closed and the actuator is closed. First thing we'll do is hook up power to the switch card. Remember, power only goes to the switch card, not to the control card. Remember that power and control should be in separate conduits. In this case, we'll thread the power up into the actuator. On the switch card, it's marked neutral and hot. So we'll put in neutral and hot, in this instance, into those slots on 